I'm Robin Osler, the architect. Um, my firm, Elmsley Osler Architects, started with this project from a very simple little meeting with Tasha Seville in New York City. We were doing a retail project, of all things, in Huntsville, Alabama, where we were building a green wall. We had met with George, and we were collaborating with Green Living Technologies. And it's actually turned out to be the largest living wall in North America at this point. And someone introduced me to Tasha, and Tasha came to the office and said, well, do you think we can grow food on that? And I said, well, you know, let's give George a call. So we gave George a call, and he said, sure, we can grow food on that. And one of the things that um, has been important to, to me and to my office is that within my community, within the architectural community, there's a lot of discussion across the country, I'm sure right now, that you're very familiar with, that you know, green walls, urban farming, green roofs. It seems to me that a lot of the discussions related to this green farming within the urban context is related to developing sort of fancy buildings for people that have a lot of money and may want to pay less on their electrical bill or they want to grow some heirloom tomatoes on their roof. It's a very, very different conversation that is happening within the architectural community and even within the urban, uh, the urban governments that the developers are sort of taking this over as, as a perk. And that's not what this project is about. This project is really about the basics of it and the real importance of what this technology can do to a community and for a community like this, not only in creating jobs, but also creating pride in their community. And this is just the beginning. I mean, when, when, when my office wrote the program for this, working with urban farming, we've developed a program where this is just step one. And part of the, the things that you're seeing here, the boxes, this was developed as a way to brand the wall so that no matter where you go in any city or throughout any city where this program has been installed, you recognize that wall as part of this chain. The third part of the component, which I've met some people today, which I'm really excited about, <laughs> to have further conversations with, is what I've always called the heart of the project, which basically ties all of this together. And it's we're, I'm seeing it as something like a little storefront somewhere where we can use this wonderful recycled material which is completely indestructible. It's UV resistant, it's insect resistant, it's very tough in terms of abuse, and it's, it's, you can carve names into it, you can paint it any color, and basically taking this material, creating an insertion into a storefront somewhere within the community where we can put a kitchen where people from the street that can come in off of the street and local celebrity chefs and cooking students can come down and get involved and start teaching people how to work with the stuff that they're growing on the walls. So it's a total, total circle that we're really, really excited about that we intend to take across the country. And Los Angeles is just it's the perfect place to start this whole thing. So thank you so much. And the people on the ground here, Joyce Lipinski and her group, I mean, there is no way that this project would have happened without the enormous amount of work that her team did. And um, we're very grateful for that. We certainly couldn't have done it without it. It's been a fantastic collaboration and one that we're really looking forward to just moving forward throughout the country with. Thank you.